We have breaking news here for the Pittsburgh Steelers as this week's playoff game against the Buffalo Bills has been postponed uh, and is getting moved from 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday due to extreme blizzard conditions in Buffalo, New York. Uh, the news was announced by Governor of New York, Kathy Hochul, today here on Saturday that the game will be moved. Uh, today on Steelers Talk, I'm going to be breaking down uh, all the implications of this move, what it means for the Steelers' playoff chances, what it means for their chances of winning this football game, what the weather conditions on Monday look like, and how this is going to change the dynamic of this football game this week and how it affects the Steelers' chances of winning. But before we break it all down today, I'm coming to you from my apartment here in Dallas. It's my day off, of course. Uh, but, but guys, when breaking news happens here on Steelers Talk, I'm getting a video out to you guys every single time it happens. You're not going to get that level of dedication anywhere else. I apologize if my hair is a little bit weird. I kind of just got up, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. But I needed to get a video out to you guys as soon as possible so that we could talk about this breaking news development. So make sure you click that subscribe button for dedicated Steelers coverage here on YouTube for free every single day. Uh, and I really do appreciate all of your support. So let's break this down, man. Uh, you know, we've been talking about all week, the weather conditions are just going to be terrible in Buffalo. And we've been talking about that uh, because it really does affect the Steelers' chances of winning this football game in a positive way, all right? Because Josh Allen, at least in my opinion, should be the MVP of the league this year. He's very dangerous with both his arms and his legs. Uh, if, if there's clear conditions, that that's definitely uh, not going to be working in the Pittsburgh Steelers' favor. We, of course, we remember the last time the Steelers played the Bills in the stadium without T.J. Watt. They lost 38-3, to all right? They got absolutely trounced uh, just last season. Uh, so it, it, we were definitely hoping that it would be kind of high winds, it would be snowy, the ball would be wet, and all these different things kind of taking away what Josh Allen, the Bills quarterback, would be able to do on the field and really make this game all about which team can run the football better. Because if it's between the Buffalo Bills running game and the Pittsburgh Steelers running game with Najee Harris and Jalen Warren, I'm taking the Steelers in that matchup. Now, uh, when it comes to what the weather looks like on Monday in of Sunday now. I don't think it's supposed to be as extreme, but it's still supposed to be very cold with winds and potentially some snow. I think there's a 45% chance of snow as we sit here today at Highmark Stadium uh, on Monday when the Steelers are supposed to be playing. And uh, it, it, I think the low is supposed to be a, a 14, and with the winds, it's going to get close to uh, below zero uh, wind chill temps. So it's still going to be very cold. It's still going to be uh, pretty high winds, I would assume. So I still think that this game and the dynamic of it is still going to be relatively the same, which is... Uh, which team can run the football more effectively. And then a big X factor is going to be whether or not Josh Allen is going to be able to actually throw the football in these conditions. Now, he's been somebody in the past that's actually been able to throw the ball, uh, and he has the type of arm that can cut through wins, uh, which is something that Buffalo Bills uh, or the Buffalo Bills really appreciate about him. It's one of the reasons why they traded up to go get him is because he's got such a strong arm. But even in these kinds of conditions, man, I think it's going to be tough for even Josh Allen to cut through these kinds of wins in the cold with the snow. I think it's going to be really, really hard to throw the football down the field. And I actually expect this football game to look a lot similar to what we saw in that Baltimore Ravens game in week 17 where the ball was wet. Of course it wasn't uh it wasn't snow on the ground but it was windy, it was it was raining, uh it was pretty much a it's pretty much a rainstorm, right? It was a full blown storm in that game and the ball was wet. It was hard to see down the field. It was really tough to move the football through the air for either team there in that football game and I kind of still expect it to be that similar type of dynamic 
in this football game. I really do. Uh, you know, Josh Allen is really going to have to, he's going to have his money's worth this week, right? So if it was clear conditions, I think that the 10.5 or 9.5 point uh, favorite uh, mark that the Bills currently have would be justified. But because of the weather conditions now with the wind and the snow and the cold, I'm just not sure uh, if this is going to be a high scoring football game for either team. And I really do think it's going to come down to which team runs the football more effectively, which team protects the football better in this football game. And honestly, I think that that benefits the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, we'll have to wait until game day to really see what the winds are looking like. I would say if the winds get too below 20 miles per hour, where it's like 15 or 10 miles per hour, those are still pretty strong winds. But I still think, I think Josh Allen could probably cut through the winds in those conditions. But also something to keep in mind, about this matchup is that Gabe Davis, the number two wide receiver for the Bills, that absolutely lit up the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, when we played these guys last year, he is out. So that means Stefan Diggs is by far their best wide receiving option in this football game. Uh, they have a couple of decent tight ends in Dawson Knox and Dalton Kincaid, so keep that in mind. I, I would assume those guys will be the number two option receiving wise for Josh Allen, but I think because Gabe Davis is out, I would expect the Steelers to uh, double team Stefan Diggs in every obvious passing situation. And honestly, in these kinds of conditions, I'm not sure if there's ever going to be an obvious passing situation because of how difficult it might be to see down the field, because of how cold it's going to be and how difficult it is going, going to be to grip that football and throw it in these kinds of wins. It's just going to be really tough for either Mason Rudolph or Josh Allen to really make an impact through the air in this football game, in my opinion. Again, we'll have to check and see what the conditions look like when we get to Monday afternoon. But I still expect this football game to come down to which team runs the ball better, which team protects the football better. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers' chances of doing both of those things on Monday afternoon. But another thing that really affects this here in the, in the playoff picture as a whole for the Pittsburgh Steelers is that they, this gives Pittsburgh one less day to prepare for Baltimore if they end up winning this football game, right? So not only does Baltimore have all the rest in the world being the first seed, they get the first round bye, but now their opponent, uh, if the Steelers end up winning this football game, is going to have one less day to prepare for them. So this definitely makes uh, the road to the AFC Championship a bit tougher for the Pittsburgh Steelers moving forward. Uh, I don't think, it, I would assume that if the Steelers win, they'll be playing on Sunday and not Saturday. Uh, at the very least, uh, just to give them as much time as possible to prepare for that football game. And I would actually assume the teams that win uh, on Monday night, now there's two Monday night games, remember, uh, to both of those teams to be playing on Sunday next week and not uh, on Saturday. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, at the end of the day, you just got to go out and win football games. I know Mike Tomlin is going to have these guys ready to go on Monday afternoon. Uh, and like he says, man, anywhere, anytime, the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to go out there and they're going to win a football game. So really do appreciate everybody for stopping by today, getting the latest breaking news updates on this postponement of this playoff game. This is absolutely nuts, man, but we're going to get through it together. We'll see you guys on Monday. So we're going to change the plan, obviously, for our watch party. We originally planned on going live tomorrow, Sunday, at 12, at 12 p.m. Eastern time. We are now moving... Uh, uh, we're, we're actually going to be going live on Monday now at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we'll be going live for uh, an hour and a half before kickoff. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be our biggest watch party of the season. And if you haven't watched any of our watch parties so far this year, they are the largest uh, live watch parties for Pittsburgh Steelers fans on the planet here on YouTube. You can join us for free here at Steelers Talk for watch parties uh, every time the Steelers have a football game. So really do appreciate all of your guys' support. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with another video of some sort here on the channel. And then, of course, on Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern for the start of our pregame coverage of Steelers versus Bills here in Super Wild Card Weekend. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And until next time, here we go, Steelers.